All right, our first target has been acquired. Meow is the name of the machine. And here's the IP address. Let's copy it to the clipboard, go to our terminal, and let's sudo sue so that we can use root privileges. All right, let's ping this machine to see if it is alive. Ping is going to send ICMP packets to the machine, and if it's alive, it will respond. Four packets sent, four packets received. Perfect. Next, we're going to use nmap tac sv. This is going to probe every single port on the machine to see which services are alive. Huh. Looks like Telnet is alive. Yes, indeed. Telnet on port 23, which is its default port. Let's clear the terminal and let's try to Telnet in. If we're successful, we'll get command shell on the remote machine and it'll be hacked. Wait for it. All right, let's try to use some default account names like admin, administrator, or root. Sometimes the administrators forget to change the account name or the password. Easy access. Perfect. Root worked. We're in. To confirm, let's type in who am I. Root. As you can see in this Wireshark excerpt, Telnet is incredibly insecure because it is a clear text protocol, which means that it sends all information in clear text. So usernames and passwords that are sent can be read. Let's list the files in this directory. Uh, flag.txt. Let's use cat to get the contents of the file. Bam, machine has been pwned. Hack the world.